Well, they produced one of the greatest A-League games of the season back in December. Western Sydney Wanderers withstanding a late Adelaide onslaught to win 3-2 and keep Marcus Babel in a job. Not for long, as it turned out. Tonight, they do it all again at Bankwest with the finals race now entering the final furlong. Mitch Duke is... Uh, sorry, Andy. Good to go. And we're ready for the free kick. Could be Matt Yerman with uh, the left foot. Might be Perman Schwiegler. And he goes through the wall. It took a big deflection. Schwiegler will claim it. The Wanderers in front inside five minutes after that lengthy stoppage. And Perman Schwiegler scores for the Wanderers. His first goal in the Hyundai A-League. Lovely ball, Miliusnic. Agree onto it. Sent a little bit wider than he wanted, and Halloran with a narrow angle shot, but there was an infringement on him by Yerman, and Alex King has pointed to the penalty spot. And the Wanderers are utterly stunned, none more so than Matt Yerman. Well, it was a game that ended in uproar back in December between these two from the penalty spot. George Blackwood is not going to take this one. It's going to be Riley McGree against Daniel Lopar. Lopar guessed right, but he couldn't keep it out. And Adelaide are back square, thanks to Riley McGree. What a start to this game. Touch, bang, goal. There's the corner, which was helped on at the near post by Yerman. And then Keanu Bacchus underneath it and headed over the top in the end by Dylan McGowan. Trying to drive through the heart of the Wanderers defence. Ben Halloran, oh, placed it beautifully. Well, he created the equaliser after being fouled that led to the award of the penalty. And now he's placed that one right in the corner. Five goals in his last six now for Ben Halloran as he equals his best ever seasonal tally of six. Bruce came out to arrive on the right. Four in the box to hit. If he can jink his way past Maria, might not need them. It's Bruce come out and a tap in for Nikolai Muller. And we're back at 2-2. He could hardly miss from that range, could he? Nikolai Muller's fifth of the season. All five in his last ten. And three of those now have come against the Reds. And we're back at 2-2. Extraordinary. Kamau's throw, helped on by Cox, and Duke is onto it. Adelaide open again. Duke, oh, what a goal! What a finish! from Mitch Duke, who scores for the third game in a row for just the second time in his A-League career. And this topsy-turvy game goes the way of the Wanderers once again at 3-2. Quite extraordinary. Schwiegler, the run by Duke. Oh, and Izzo came out, and Mitch Duke has a brace, and the Wanderers leave 4-2. A crazy, crazy first half at Bankwest Stadium, which has produced six goals. We've still got seven minutes of the first half to run. And Mitch Duke's on a hat-trick already. Oh, good thing by Kamau. That's brilliant. Really good by Bruce Kamau. What a run this is. He's got options right and left. Chooses Nikolai Muller, who slides it in. And the Wanderers are 5-2 in front. Nikolai Muller has a brace, or does he? The flag is up against the German. It's not going to count. More drama in a drama-filled night at Banquest. Muller wants to see the replay. Talking of open field, here goes Kamau again. Threads it through, Simon Cox. Paul Izzo stood up, but Cox on the rebound. Fires it in for his first home goal for his new club. And now the Wanderers do lead 5-2. Needed two bites in it. But at the second time of asking, he puts the ball in the back of the net. It's been by McGree, but that is full-time at Backwest. And at last, the Wanderers have a win at home. A much-needed victory, their first here at Backwest since the Sydney Derby in October as John Paul de Marini extends his unbeaten start to three matches. Adelaide for their part, beaten by the Wanderers for the second time this season and missing out on the chance to go second.